Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, then my name is Danny DeFreitas and on my channel we'll kind of talk about everything that's beauty, lifestyle, fashion, makeup, you know the drill, you know the drill. Okay, so today I am going to dive into some makeup. We are going to play with a brand new collection from Morphe and Madison Beer and I'm super, super excited. She is stunning, by the way. Stunning. Stunning. In case you're wondering, I am baking underneath my eyes and I have a base on because the collection in front of me is a palette, a setting spray, and also some lip products as well. So without wasting any more time, let's just go straight into the video. Who's ready? Who's ready? Okay, so I thought I would start this video just with a little bit of an introduction in case you might not know who she is because I didn't know who she was. I'm just gonna be honest. I did not know who she was. And then I realized that she is huge. And I thought, well, right, I, have I been like living underneath a rock? So basically she is a singer, songwriter. She's absolutely stunning. She has a huge following on social media. And at the age of 15, Justin Bieber basically tweeted a cover of a song that she did. So I feel like she just kind of like blew up. So I'm gonna try and recreate a look that I found of her that I absolutely love. Like, she is stunning. So I absolutely love this look, like the whole vibe. Um, so it's a little bit more of an eye focus with beautiful bronzy skin. Um, there seems to be a bit of an eyeliner. It's a little bit grainy. I mean, I love the grain, but it's a little bit of a grainy photo. So we're gonna try and take inspiration from that visual. And yeah, let me show you exactly what's in this collection. Okay, so I feel like Morphe are, again, just slaying the game. They are constantly just bringing out brand new collections, which is super, super exciting. I'm gonna start off with the palette because this is something that I'm just like, ooh, it's kind of like, seems to me like the main hero piece. And as we look inside, oh, it's, it's actually really, really nice, guys. So this is what the palette looks like. It is, I would say, mainly neutrals. We've got a mix of mattes and shimmers in there. I mean, it looks cute. It's very, very cute. I would say it's very safe. It's very wearable. It's very, it's got some cool tones in there, a little bit warmer tones. But I feel like for anyone who just wants like a nice like palette that's great for everyday use, this is gonna be amazing. Plus it comes with a mirror, it's super, super flat. So love it. How many colors in here? I don't know, I can't count, but that is a lot, that's nice. And I definitely feel like you can do a lot of different looks with this. Ooh, also in the collection, we have this setting spray right here. It's called Lockdown, which I'm like, wait, did she plan this? Did she know Lockdown was coming? I'm not sure, but I absolutely love the name Lockdown and it is illuminating, uh, a luminous setting spray and yeah, I'm excited. Like, look, that is very, very, very satisfying. I mean, it looks insane. Okay, we also have this, which is a brush set. If you guys don't know, I am obsessed with Morphe brushes. My bin keeps on opening and closing. Very disturbing, very, very distracting. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, guys, I am obsessed with Morphe brushes. Personally, I just feel like they are super affordable and they just work amazingly. You know, I just love the quality. So in here, you're gonna get six six brushes and it comes in this super cute pouch which is always just handy for if you're on the go so this is what we have i'm gonna maybe use these brushes today so we can really just dive into the whole collection but yeah these are the kind of brushes that we have like i said all just eye focused i would say also in here we have the shimmer highlighter so i'm guessing this is a cream highlight it comes in two different shades i just wanted to show you the box as well just for the whole vibe like the whole collection is very very gray and kind of like minimalist and a little bit like moody which i quite like very simple very clean and so these are the two shades. I'm not exactly sure how you would use this. I guess maybe this is more of a highlight for the eyes because I don't think you'd use this on the cheeks because that's a very, very gold color and that's very pink. But I'm not sure, I'm gonna play around with that for sure. And finally, we have some lip products which I'm actually probably the most excited to try because I've seen some swatches of this and good. It's good. They are super, super nice. I actually love Morphe lip products. Their lip pencils are amazing. Their lip glosses are amazing. So I'm definitely gonna swatch these up for us to have a look at and finish the look using that. Whew. So where do we begin? Let's dive straight in to the eyes. Okay, just before we get started, I just wanna swatch these highlighters so I can see if I'm gonna use them on the eyes or if I'm gonna use them on the face. I'm a little bit scared. 
<laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of liquid highlighters just because I tend to powder my skin. Oh, they're very, very soft. I was scared, but beautiful. Yeah, I feel like you can actually just use that as a skin booster, illuminator, anything like that. All right, so we're gonna dive straight into the palette. Like I said, this is my inspiration look. I, I'm not sure if I picked the right look. I feel like I can't really see if there's much going on in the eyes, but we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna play. We are gonna dive into some neutrals first. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just play around. Um, and whilst I'm applying this, let's have a little chat, guys. Let's talk. Let's let's talk about life. How's how is everything? How's it all going? I honestly feel like I have been just taking so much time to see where I want to be, see what I want to be doing. And obviously the year, I mean, who, who can believe it's almost October already. Here we are, what a year it has been. There are some crazy things also just happening like behind the scenes. Uh, I just wish sometimes that people would realize like what actually happens like behind the scenes sometimes because it's actually shocking. I think people think that content creators just kind of like post videos and we're like go out for brunch and we're just living our best lives. But honestly, I wish, I wish I could even talk about what's really going on sometimes. I think the industry already like has a crazy reputation and I just, I'm honestly like such a chilled kind of person. I'm like, like I'm all about work ethic and being a good person. And so I just get kind of shook when people start acting crazy. I don't know, maybe it's the pandemic. Maybe people are just acting kind of wild, you know, I'm not sure. But rest assured guys, I am still keeping strong, you know, positive vibes. I still have a really, really good feeling that, you know, even though this year has been crazy, we can still make it a nice one. Okay, so I'm trying to be cool and using a cool tone eyeshadow on the lids. There's a reason why I don't use cool eyeshadows. I just don't feel like it suits me, like it never does. Like I just love warm tones. I think to warm it up, I'm gonna go ahead with this shade right here, which looks super, super cute. And let's pop that on. I am literally just kind of working it through the eye. I, I always do this. I kind of don't know what I want my eye look to look like. And then I just build and go for it. But I really wanna start recreating looks because I sometimes feel like that's where I push myself and then I start adapting like other techniques. And then I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I can do that. You know when you just get stuck in your ways and you just do the same makeup? all the time, you know? Okay, so I'm just focusing this color already. I'm just loving how this is just bringing it a little bit warmer, you know, bringing it warmer. Also, you guys said that you really want me to do this video on like hacks, how to make your eyes look bigger if you have got smaller eyes. So I am actually dying to do that for you. I think that would be a really, really, really cool video. Let me know down below if you guys actually want to see that. I just think it's something that I've always struggled with having such like a like hooded eye and having smaller eyes. And my goal is always to try and make it look, you know, as lifted and as big as possible. So there are some really, really, really good tips I think I can share with you, like so, so good. So I'm now gonna move on to just adding a little bit more dimension for the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this brush, which is in the collection. It's actually really, really nice because it's flat, but slightly angled. So you're gonna get a really nice amount of application and precision, which I love. I've just literally swatched, a bit of a mouthful, some of these over here. And this one is just calling my name. So I'm gonna pat this on the lids and just add a little bit more dimension. I mean, you could even just use your finger if I'm really honest. The look that I'm following is actually not really shadow based. It's more of a liner look. So maybe I've chosen the wrong look right now, but I'm gonna add a liner and just make it a little bit more unique and super cute. But you know, you need to use the eyeshadows. If there's an eyeshadow palette in the thing, then we need to use the eyeshadows. Also, can you believe it's now October? It is Halloween season. I am definitely in the mood to just have fun and play with some Halloween looks. I think my favorite thing about Halloween is that the makeup doesn't have to be perfect. It could be a little bit messy. And I just basically make a creative fun mess. Makeup is definitely my, especially when I'm stressed or when there's weirdness going on in life, makeup is kind of like my escape. Like I just kind of like dive in. And sometimes I just love just playing with makeup and just doing my thing, you know, it kind of just gets your mind. Kind of like reading a book or, 
I don't know, like doing sports. For me, it's just quite therapeutic. Do you guys, do you guys know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ooh, okay, cool. So this is kind of the base. I kind of want to add a liner. I mean, I've kept it very, very simple. I feel like this is a very everyday, easy to wear palette. What I might do actually to challenge myself is I'm going to use this black and kind of smudge out like a bit of a liner, like a winged liner. And I can kind of show you how I do this. Should we do it together? Okay, so for my liner, I'm gonna go in with Perversion, which is from Urban Decay. I just love this. I feel like I never go wrong whenever I use this product. I'm not sure why, but I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna go with it. Usually I don't speak when I'm doing this, so let's try and talk and film. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go for a liner that kind of just like comes out just because that's kind of what's going on in this reference. Okay, cute. Now she also has a little bit more of a foxy eye in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in. This is so scary doing this on camera, I can't breathe. Okay, so next up, this is gonna look so crazy because I'm still baking and I haven't got any lashes or mascara on, so please bear with me. So next up, I kind of see that she has a super skinny, like she has a liner and then she has like a super skinny line on top. So I'm gonna just draw this. this. This is where it could go terribly wrong if you've got hooded eyes. Okay, so I've literally just gone ahead and drawn that little line, which is cute, but I'm a bit worried that once I put my mascara and lashes on, you might not even see that detailing, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, now for lashes, I'm gonna be going ahead with my friend Ling's lashes. I cannot believe she has her own lash collaboration with Isla. They have three different shades. Shades? Styles three different styles and I am so proud of her. Like this is insane. I know how big this is because I remember when I launched my lash, like, I remember my heart being like, oh my God, what's going on? And just to see my friends do this, like just means so much to me. Like I'm so, so proud of them. This is so crazy. What should I go for? I think I'm gonna go for the Empress, which looks super cute. I know everyone's been loving Yas Queen and I'm saving that for a very special look. So I am gonna go ahead and pop these on. Actually, I have a really funny little story. I have this eyelash applicator and basically it was incorrectly sent to me, but it was meant to send, it says, it says Ling. It actually says Ling, how funny is this? It was actually sent to my house by mistake, but so funny. I remember when, when I got this, I was like, wait, why does it say Ling? I'm not sure if she has one that says Danny. One of the things I love about these lashes as well is that the band is so thin. Oh, it's just a dream to like seamlessly blend. Do you see what I mean? Look at that. And you still see the detail, yes. Oh my God, I love these lashes. They're so cute. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let me dust this powder off my face and bronze it up. And then we are gonna move on to the lips and the setting spray. Ooh, okay, cool. So I literally brushed that off, added some bronzer, which just really brings it all together. And we're gonna move on to the lips. I think I'm gonna swatch this. I think I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna swatch all four shades because I know they're gonna be beautiful. Okay, so where should I swatch this? This is always the challenge. Okay, so first of all, we have this one called Saturn and it is gonna look like this. Yeah, this is a beautiful, I would say like a rosy pinky nude color. That is so stunning. Next up, we have Mars 2. I think this is right up my street. This is a little bit less pink and more nude. <gasps> This is something that I would just, it's, it's all a bit of me. And then we have one called Mercury. So I'm guessing these are all planets. Why? I'm not sure guys, but we're gonna go with it. This is a little bit more of a subdued, cooler tone nude. Absolutely stunning. Like I'm keeping all of these. And then the last one is called Venus. And Venus looks like the darkest of them all. Um, has a little bit more of a deeper rose tint um, as opposed to a nudie tint. And the formulation of Morphe lip glosses is balm. So balm. I love, love, love. So of course, I think we all know what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the nudie one because I am feeling basic today and I just want to wear what I want to wear. Okay, let's go ahead and put some lip pencil on. I usually love my Morphe one, but I can't find the right shade. I'm looking for the one that is always sold out. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna line my lips. I'm using a Victoria Beckham lip definer, but I love the Morphe ones. I've just, I can't find them. Guys, I have found one. I found Sweet Tea, and this is what we're gonna go. 
go with. Look how, look at this pencil. Look how sad this pencil is. It definitely needs to sharpen. Okay, so we have our sweet tea lip definer and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw. I can't talk and do this, so just give me a moment. So I'm so glad I found this pencil. Can we see how beautiful that shade is? And I think there's another one. I think it's called Bite Me that I'm dying to try, but I haven't ever tried it. And recently what I've been doing is, even though I've got quite a defined Cupid's bow, I've actually just been rounding that off. I just love that rounded lip shape recently. I just always change it up. I think that's what I love about makeup, guys. Like there's no right or wrong. Just have fun. You do you. It's all good. Okay, so we are gonna go in with Mars. I think this is just the typical Morphe formulation, which is just bliss. Oh no, that is good. <laughs> Juice. Oh my god, this combo. It's just a nude lip, but I get excited by it because I just love a nude. Is makeup meant, meant to make you feel this good? I don't know. Okay, this combo is my new combo. It is Sweet Tea Lip Pencil from Morphe and also Mars lip gloss. Right guys, that takes us to our final product, which is going to be the Madison Bear Lockdown Luminous Setting Spray. I'm a little bit worried that there's like lots of gold in here, so let's give this... Ooh. One of my favorite setting sprays is actually the Morphe Continuous Mist, which is in a black bottle. It's like an aerosol. It just has like a really nice mist. And I love the formulation of that. So interesting to see that there's a different component with this. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it has the particles in it. Smells amazing. Definitely, I, I personally always feel like I need a mist just because I use so much powder. <laughs> All right, so now that the look is complete, let's go ahead and give our verdict. Thumbs up or thumbs down on this collection and what we think about the actual products. Right, so we are gonna kickstart with the palette, what we think of it. So is it a thumbs up, thumbs down? It's a little bit of a hard one for me. I feel like it's a beautiful palette. I love Morphe, I love the formulation, I love the pricing. And I think that as a collection, this is super, super cute because it's just wearable and I can see that this will just be really, really popular. Like if this is literally a collection for everyone. Am I mind blown? Do I think this is like, wow, there's nothing else like this out there? No. So I, I'm, I don't know if, I, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up just because I feel like the formulation and the product quality and everything that you're gonna get is amazing. And I know if you want a neutral palette, I would get this one. If you literally just want an everyday neutral palette, I would just go for this. The formulations will not let you down. The price point won't let you down. It's nice and thin and it's great. Like even if it wasn't a collab with Madison, it will just be an awesome palette to have in your kit. Next up, I also wanna talk about the brushes. I think we all know this is gonna be a thumbs up for me. I am obsessed with Morphe brushes. I literally, all I use is Morphe brushes. Let me show you. Most of these are all Morphe brushes. There are even some brand new ones which are still in a packet. And there's some like, other ones in there, but they're mainly, mainly Morphe. Okay, cool. Next, we're gonna talk about the highlighters. I didn't use this as part of my look today, only because I had already done my base. Um, I don't know if I would use this as a highlight on the cheeks, unless you wanted this kind of like minimal, no makeup, dewy, radiant complexion, which I think is super in right now. But I would use this as like all over my face as a kind of like, booster, like illuminating booster, and then go ahead maybe with a little bit more on top if I wasn't wearing as much powder as today. So these, I'm not gonna give a verdict on because I didn't use them in today's look. Okay, next is gonna be the lip. <laughs> The lip glosses, the lip glosses are gonna be a thumbs up. I feel like they've literally killed it. Love the component, love all four colors. Like all four shades I think are just bomb and they're really, really nice. I feel like this whole collection has a vibe to it. Like it all makes sense. It's very neutral. And so my favorite is Mars. What do we think? It's my favorite. So this is 100% a thumbs up for me. And finally, we have the Madison Bear Lockdown Luminous Setting Spray. Do we love it? What do we think? A little bit hard to tell if this is truly amazing, gonna work, because I've literally just put my makeup on, so the test really would be to see if my makeup lasted after six hours. Again, I was a little bit intimidated by all of the gold specs, but it actually looks really good on the skin. Like, it's not crazy, which I prefer. Like, if it's a whole glitter face, I'm like, oh no. No, 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 no. So I actually really, really, really like it. Maybe a little bit, a little bit sticky, just a little bit sticky, but yeah, it's a cute addition. Do I think you need this? No. Is there other setting sprays that are similar to this? Yes. Um, but I do feel like 
the Morphe setting sprays are really, really good. And like I said, one of my favorites is the Luminous Mist. So maybe get that one if you're gonna get one from Morphe. Okay, so this kind of wraps up my first impressions and makeup tutorial on the Madison Bear and Morphe collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been so nice to just sit down and talk to you and just play with makeup. I know that things have been crazy this year and I don't know about you but I've literally just been watching so much YouTube recently to like get my mind off of things and I've been really into vlogs. Um, a few of my friends do vlogs and stuff. I'm just not sure if I would ever do a vlog but let me know if you'd like to see a few more vlogs on my channel. Like I'm not sure if I'm saying that I'm going to be consistently uploading them every week but sometimes I do think wow this would be really funny for a vlog. Like there's so many moments in my life that I would love to share with you because there's just so much craziness that happens that no one ever knows about. But um, yeah, let me know down below if you would even want to watch vlogs or if I should just stick to doing makeup. You let me know, you call the shots. Um, I will see you guys next time. Happy Halloween season and yeah, sending you positive love, energy, mental health, look after yourself, self-love. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.